Jane, how could you have started the fire? You were upstairs, asleep. It all began when Mom showed us her weird, I mean good and not weird, sculpture. I couldn't stop thinking about the contest and how her mermaid would never win. And we'd never get to be up to our butts and toy gift certificate money. I woke up in the night cause I was on a mission To get downstairs and do some mermaid fixing Her hair was a mess and I knew what to do But then a rumble in my tummy said I needed to poo I was feeling light like I could dance a jig I grabbed a crimping iron and my favorite wig It's time for your hair to strut, no more limping I flopped on that wig and then I got to crimping I went back upstairs knowing we'd win But I left the crimping iron plugged in It's so Set the restaurant on fire It's all my fault I burnt my dad's dreams with my wiggy desires So, yeah, I left mom's old crimping iron plugged in And I guess it set the restaurant on fire? Yeah, yeah, uh-huh But, you know, mom and dad, Jean actually kind of got me thinking about something Yeah, honey, why? Just that I, um, also might have started the fire What? No! How? I shared Jean's opinion that your sculptor was sort of unlikely to win us any toy money. So I, uh, snuck downstairs in the middle of the night. Oh, my God. I woke up from a dream in the middle of the night. I thought of a way to win the gold. Help mom's sculpture really stand out by making the mermaid explode. I'm talking M-80s, bottle rockets, Roman candle sky missiles, or even dynamite. I didn't have any of that stuff. But I had some sparklers. And those things are fun enough. Anyway, I just shoved like a bunch of them into the mermaid. It's all Jean's fault. He set the restaurant on fire. And maybe it's partially my fault too. But Jean guilt definitely ranks higher. So, yeah. I feel like by bringing a bunch of sparklers into the restaurant, I maybe potentially contributed to the fire. <laughs> I, um... Kind of need to tell you guys something, too. Tina, no! Yeah. No! Uh-huh. I wanted to fix that ugly mirth thing so we could win the prize. I wasn't expecting the mermaid's grim hair and sparklers dark all over everywhere. I thought you'd look better in a blue bikini instead of just being all throw-up greeny. The paint was pretty wet, so I plugged in a fan. Which in hindsight might not have been a great plan. Because, you know, oxygen and fire, you, you do the bath. It's all our fault. We set the restaurant on fire. It's all our fault. Everything went haywire. I'm really sorry. What's wrong with all of you? <sighs> all right, fine, I'll start. We heard about the fire, didn't we? <laughs> and I was going yep. back over what was happening yesterday, and <sighs> I remember... I remember that Hugo pulled out all your greasy rags, didn't you, Hugo? Rags. And as you might know, when grease-soaked rags are exposed to open air, they can sometimes spontaneously what? Rarely. They spontaneously combust. So, yeah, I, uh, started a fire. I'm sorry. Hugo, louder, the last part. I'm sorry. Hugo. I'm sorry. There, I said it. It's all you. Hugo's fault, he burnt your restaurant. It's all Hugo's fault, even though he didn't want to mention it. It's not our fault. I mean, the stuff we did didn't help. It's not our fault. It's nice to get to blame someone else. It's all Hugo's fault. Mom, unpack our things. We're staying. Yeah, that makes sense. I thought I picked up the... It's not